December's that month when I think we want to do some preparation for the upcoming spring calving season. That spring calving season is not that far away, and some of us will have some first calf heifers that may want to calve in late uh, January, early February. Now is a good time to get any colostrum needs taken care of. If we need to find some natural colostrum from one of the few dairies that are left in Oklahoma, uh, th this would be a good time to make that contact and uh, make an agreement with that dairy to get some of the very first milk that a dairy cow gives, that milk that can't go into the regular milk supply. It will have that colostrum that contains the uh, immunoglobulins or the antibodies that that calf needs to get uh, ingested by uh, the time that he's uh, at least six hours of age and then we'd like to get another dose in him when he's 12 hours of age. The amount of colostrum that's needed is generally about two quarts for the first dose that that calf receives and then another two quarts uh, 12 hours later to make sure they get an adequate amount of immunoglobulins to give that calf the disease protection that it's going to need in the first few hours of life. If we cannot get natural colostrum, which would be my first choice, then we uh, want to visit uh, a local feed veterinary supply store and purchase what we call colostrum replacer. Colostrum replacer is uh, an artificial form of, of colostrum that contains at least 100 grams of immunoglobulin per dose. And that's important, so read the label, make sure it has at least 100 grams of uh, immunoglobulin for, for each dose. It'll be the more expensive than those that have uh, fewer grams, but that's the amount that we need to get uh, into those calves for passive Im immunity. That calf has an immune system, but it's not yet operative when it's a newborn. It takes uh, several weeks in order for that immune system to get going and supply that calf with his own antibodies. So the only antibodies that he has to protect him against such things as calf diarrhea is what he receives from either mother, if it's a, a healthy calving where uh, she uh, gives plenty of milk and the calf can get up quickly and nurse quickly. But if you have that difficult birth where that calf is, is really somewhat compromised, is going to be slow to get to his feet, going to be slow to find the teat and nurse, then that's the one that we w want to either feed with a uh, bucket with a nipple on it or uh, perhaps have to tube feed that calf in order to get the colostrum or the colostrum replacer into that calf in that first six hours of life. Keep this in mind as we go through this upcoming uh, spring calving season. I know that it's a little extra work and in the case of the uh, colostrum replacer, it's extra expense, but we want to save every calf we can because it'll pay dividends next fall when we take those calves to town and market them. We hope to visit with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.